What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel if you're new. My name is Key. And in today's video, I'm going to be collabing with You Nice Hair. They sent me this really realistic, super easy V-part 20 inch kinky curly 150 density wig. I feel like every time I tell you guys a description of the wig is like a mouthful or maybe I just say it in a way where it's a mouthful but anyways yes this is a 20 inch kinky curly wig and it is 150 density and when I tell you guys this is the most realistic wig that I have and it's so soft and lightweight it's not super super duper kinky or unmanageable actually me styling this took out <laughs> me styling this took probably about 15 minutes at that to detangle, wet it, detangle it, and match it with my hair. All the information for this wig will be down below in the description box along with my subscribe button for you guys to click and subscribe and also turn on the post notifications, click that bell so you know anytime I make a new video. And when I say this wig is so easy to style, I'm not even exaggerating. It's legit the most perfect beginner friendly, kinky curly wig I've ever tried or ever received so that's that on that so if you want to see how I achieved this look just be sure to keep on watching all right you guys so this is what my hair looks like right now I haven't been really putting heat on my hair I've been kind of just wearing it under a wig or recently like today when I went to work I had it slicked back in a bun so that's kind of why it looks weird right now on top of that I have like a cast I don't know if you can see it. I have like the cast right here because I just took off a wig that I did a TikTok for. So watch out for that. It's probably gonna be posted before this video anyway. But if you're wondering, that's why there's like a little cast right here. I tried to fix it with my makeup, but it is what it is. And also I'm going to be putting my hair back in a bun for this wig because I honestly and truly don't feel like braiding my hair right now. But normally I would braid my hair in like either two or three or four braids, not anything too small. But yeah, not for this video. So this is the box that it came in. It has like a little bit of damages to it from the shipment DHL handling it roughly, but it's still a very nice box. So before we even get into the box, let's talk about the robe that they sent me with the Unice logo on it. Okay, let's take this bad boy out. And it's not like super ch It has it on the back too. Okay. Do I, do I like wear this throughout the video? Is that what we're gonna do? Is that what, that's what it's giving? Okay, so it has the Unice logo right here and it's stitched in, it's not printed on, it's stitched in. And also it has it on the back. Okay, to the quality of not even the wig but the accessories they also sent me a wig cap obviously i won't be using it for this video but i appreciate them still sending it because you never know when you need it they sent me some clips they sent me this really thick elastic band with the logo on it with velcro and let me just say this let me just put it out here this is the best packaging i've received from any hair company and i'm now starting to really work with hair companies so i know i'm kind of talking a little bit soon but come on come on they sent me a dust bag with the logo for the hair and then they sent me another mesh bag with the logo as well with a satin scarf and some lashes okay and this is the wig it is a 20 inch, I don't know if I said this in the beginning in the intro, but it is a 20 inch kinky curly wig. And it has the stuffing on the inside and also styrofoam. So I'm just gonna take that the net off and then take this out. And this is what the inside of the wig looks like. So you have two clips on the parting, you have a clip in the center, you have two combs on the side. And do you have a comb at the bottom? Yeah, there's a comb at the bottom. And there's also elastic bands at the bottom as well. And the wig is in a natural brown, like 1B color. My hair is jet black and I recently just like retouched my color. So it's extra, extra jet black right now, but we're gonna make it work. It, it has no choice but to work. And so far, I'm really liking the density of it. I like that it's not too long, especially for a V part. Um, and my hair is gonna be left out. My hair is not that long, so I like that. So now I'm just going to part my hair and part my leave out and then put everything back into a bun. So I'm just probably gonna speed through this part until it's time to put the wig on.
All right, so this is what the parting looks like for my wig. And my hair is slipped back in a really tight bun. So now it's time to, <laughs> now it's time to put on the wig. And I'm gonna start with the top and then the sides and then the back. Okay, so the wig is on. And as you can see, because it's so flat on top, it's almost seamless. It gives sewing vibes. And that's what I really like about the V-part wigs is how flat and seamless that they <laughs> make the top and undetectable that they make it as well. And without wetting this hair or adding any product, I know I probably should have worn a different color shirt, but it hits like about right here. So where my collarbone is a little bit under my collarbone, I feel like once I wet it and um, it gets to its actual real texture, it'll be a little bit longer. One thing I forgot to mention is that um, because I didn't braid my hair, I didn't really like part any leave out out on the sides because I always just like to just pull it out a little as I go and like I said before in my previous videos my hairline is kind of short right now because of breakage so it kind of just comes out anyway so I just planned on picking it out like as I styled the texture <laughs> of the hair so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to wet this hair with my spray bottle and add some leave-in conditioner to it just so it could get to its actual natural texture. So I'm just gonna work in sections as I detangle this hair. All right, you guys, so I just finished wetting and adding um, leave-in conditioner. The leave-in conditioner that I use is the Kinky Curly Not Today. I really like how it works on my hair. That's what I use in my hair when I used to wear it um, curly a lot. I kind of wear my hair straight majority of the time, but when I do wear it curly, that's what I use. So like I said, I went ahead and wet this hair and added some leave-in conditioner and detangled it, and this is what it looks like, so. It's definitely, it's definitely given what it was supposed to give. And I really like how easy it is to manage. It's not, um, it didn't give me a hard time to detangle at all. And it took me like probably five minutes at the most. So I really like that. It, I like that it's not too time consuming. And it does blend with my leave out. My hair has like, of course, heat damage because I wear my hair straight majority of the time, but it still blends in really well with my leave out, which is a plus as well, because I was kind of worried. I was kind of, I was shaking in my boots for that. I do actually want to put some layers in this, um, just so it's not just like one, um, length because that's kind of boring with curly hair i like when it has like layers in it so i don't know if i want to use my scissors or my razor comb logically i should use my scissors because a razor comb and curly hair don't okay all right i just answered my own question i don't even know why i did that to myself so i'm just gonna use my shears and i'm going to go in and just layer it a bit in the front
All right, so my hair is still kind of damp, but it is pretty much dry. So this is what we're working with. I actually really, 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 really like this wig a lot. It looks like my hair if I would let my hair grow out. <laughs> yeah, I def like this is definitely giving my hair. Not even gonna lie to you. I did add like a little bit more layers to the front just to frame my face, but I'm leaving the back the way it is because this is a 20 inch wig, it's not that long, and I don't want to add layers and make the ends of it super, super see through, which is what I hate with curly hair. So I'm just gonna leave the back away, the back <laughs> the way it is. And this is what it looks like from the back. And also I did add a bit of Eco Styler gel to the ends just to clump them up a little bit because I noticed they were getting a little bit frizzy with just the water and leave-in conditioner. So this is the Eco Styler gel that I used towards the bottom. And I didn't add any product to the top other than the leave-in conditioner and water because I wanted it to look as natural as possible. I didn't want it to look gelled down or anything like that. I wanted it to look legit like a wash and go. And the same goes for my edges. I didn't really do them either. It's giving naturally stuff. Hmm. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. It's very beginner friendly. It's very easy, very simple tutorial. I'm pretty sure this video is going to be really short, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really love this hair. I know I say that a lot with hair that I get, but this is the most realistic wig that I have. So this is why I'm just so in love with it. If you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you turn on the post notifications so you know anytime I make a new video. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any questions or anything that you want to know about this hair that I didn't already explain in the video. And also the links to this hair will be in the description box for you guys to shop. <laughs> okay, let me stop touching it before it gets too frizzy because I'm definitely wearing this to work tomorrow. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.